ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video of lego kit today i am going to be doing the mercedes-benz truck uh, this number to the lego is 420343 there are 2400 pieces yeah. this took me one week and it, it was really simple yes it was really simple so let's start with the cabin first of all so let me drive so here at the cabin you've got all the details at the front the little number plate right there you've also got which i really love the mercedes-benz logan isn't that cool this bit I do as well. So, also, there's a really cool feature in the cabin. Try and guess. Well, it does this. So, you can do this, and inside, you can see all the pistons move when you drive. But the main reason that they made this is so when you t want to change your battery, just take out these two red uh, things. Take out the wire and slot out easily. If you saw my last video it, on the, that, um, it had the same function, surprisingly. And so it used the same thing. So then put the wire back in, put, put these red things in. And then it should put, be put back in easily, like that. Also in the front, there, there, um, there is this. And also in on the cabin, the doors open. Yay! Inside, you've got some nice cosy seats. And on the other side, you've got the dashboard and the steering wheel. So the dashboard is right there. Also here, you've got the steering. So when you, when you want to steer, you just have to drive it away. Like that. So let's move on to the next section. The, and that was one of the hardest sections. The crane. So here's, here's the crane and it Despite um, me on my own, and I'm eight, I still managed to fix this. It was very hard because of this bit, that bit, with all the wire, all the pneumatic pipes, all connecting into each other. It was all just all fiddly. So let me show you a pneumatic uh, pipe if I can get it off this is a pneumatic pipe so in here there is a pump which blows air so that air will go into here and the little vault here so they let through the air and stop the air so let's put this back in It is quite hard to put it back in because, first of all, you have to put it in really hard. If you don't do that, then the air will escape. And then, right, put this one back in. There are also little connectors that connect the, um, the pneumatic pipes, which is really clever, I think. So here, here, here and here, those are hydraulic pipes. So they are powered by the air. And also here, Tony <laughs> Um, Let's move on to the next bit, which is the bucket and this bit here. So this bit I found uh, fairly, very easy. And so everything went very well until 
it got to these wheels right here. It was very confusing, I thought, putting in all the fiddly cocks. I'll show you that. And also here, this is where all the um, magic happens, where all the motors and everything is. So let me uh, put this upside down. Here, this is the Ridley Cogs. I had to figure out what to do and everything. Feels so fiddly. And right here, right there, that's the pump. Yep, right there. If I was to take that off, that's the pump right there. If you can see it. Maybe. Let me put this back in. So here, these are connected to the hydraulic bits. So those um, like stabilize the truck when it's using the crane. And here, this is uh, the steering. It's really um, complicated, complex. I mean, he's complicated too many times. <laughs> so, without further ado. Let's get into the power functions. So first, the first step to everything is always to switch it on. So let's start with the bucket. You move the crane. Well, you can do it by power function, but I would like to do it by hand. And magic all happens. Here, we have a better view. So I'm going to switch it off. So here you've got a better view of all the cogs and fiddly stuff. And also here, that's where the, that's the medium motor that powers everything. All of it. So here's the, another hydraulic pipe. There are lots of hydraulic pipes in uh, this Lego, I must say. Um, so there's a hydraulic pipe underneath of the bucket, and yeah. So let's get it back down to earth. Oh, and this is the. Uh, this is the pipe that goes down into the, the uh, pumper. So, what we should do next here are these things. So, we're going to open. Um, So let's stabilize the Lego. It's not going to be going anywhere. Yeah, that sometimes happens if you push it too hard. It sometimes flips out of its cliff. So, so we've got it like that. Now we have to move the crane. So here, you always sometimes have to help it because it's quite hard. And, and if I was to do it, so wait, if I was to do it. So on the other side, here, is the pump. So if I do this, now you can hear the pump working. And now, air's coming through here. So now I am um, control. So this will go up and down. So I have to, what you have to do, first you have to make this go up and down, open this. So because this is, just to make it work. So to get all the air, uh, get all the um, little things out. You can't. 
so now got that and I can open the claw close it if I want to and then on the other side like that you've got this which extends this right out right out and then back in like it should just close it and then bring it back out so now if I was to do it when it's like this so stop the pump like that so there's a lot of features to this and it let's um let's give it an experiment so i'm gonna get these two things out and i'm gonna place it right there now let's see if this claw can get it put it in here and then this can drop it well let's wait and see so first of all i'm gonna um and then we stop. Yep. So that seems perfect right there. Um, I'm going to stop this. Now, I'm going to lower it. By doing that, I'm going to have to use this. Well, actually, I should hit this bring it back up. It's this. I might bring it up a bit. So need, this bit needs a bit of help. And I'm, I'm gonna open the floor. Close it down. And bring it up. It can only do one at a time, apparently. So yeah. I'm gonna bring it down. So then that, I'm going to drop it, seems a bit long, bring this to me, and then we're going to have to go, and then we do it to the same uh, other one, so I'm going to repeat those same steps. Switch it off. Now I'm gonna extend this. Stop. And then we're gonna place it down. Down like this. So here. So there. Now we're gonna repeat the same steps. And we're gonna bring it back up like this. So we're gonna have to help it again. Come on. See, it's barely hanging in there. Uh, oh, I just love my legs. How am I doing it? Stop. And then we stop that. And then we're gonna. I'm gonna say, let's drop it. And then, there we are. Those two are in there. I'm gonna load that. Whoops, forgot to do something. There we are. Close the bucket for safety. Now, that's done. We're going to switch this off. Now we're going to do... We're going to move the crane. And then I'm going to open it. Now we're going to lower it back in.
It makes that noise when um, it's gone too far. So there you are. You have it there. And then when you want to leave, you can't forget it. You have to undo this. Like that. There they go. And then switch off the power functions and then you drive away. Thank you for um, watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe.